honeys, so welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing with KKW Beauty products. I got the palette, I got the mascara, what else? Oh, I got the eyeliner, and I got the beauty makeup sponge. So I'm so excited. I did create this like smoky, pinky, brown smoky eye <laughs> um i got the inspiration from my from my sweater and so i thought why not let's just dig in and play with this palette um i really wanted to create one of the makeup looks that makeup by ariel created on kim kardashian i'll post a picture around here or somewhere over here um and i absolutely fell in love with that makeup look um but I decided to actually play in with the colors a little bit more so I can definitely give you guys my opinions on this collection and I am in love with it. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Um, I did try my best to really use mostly all the eyeshadows in today's makeup look. The only one that I did not use was this shade right here um, but the other ones I used all on my eyes and let me tell you guys I am obsessed with the eyeliner. It is so pigmented. It just looks so smoky. Um, so and the mascara I have haven't played with it or haven't worn it throughout the whole day so I can't really give you guys my full honest opinion about it but I will say that I am obsessed with the applicator I love mascara wands like this I just feel like it really makes my eyes look really really smoky so I hope that you guys enjoy this video I love you guys so much please subscribe to my channel if you are not like this video if you like it so far and comment down below let me let me know what other makeup looks you want me to recreate with this eyeshadow palette let's go ahead and start with the tutorial Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with prepping my skin first. Um, so I'm going to go into the Too Faced Hangover Reply Machine um, Face Primer, you guys. And it has coconut water, um, and it's silicone-free. I absolutely love silicone-free primers. It just feels so comfortable on the skin, and it really feels really lightweight, and it doesn't feel super, like, harsh on my skin. And when I apply foundation, it's seriously... A dream and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 um, setting spray silicone alcohol and oil free so it's definitely gonna have your makeup last a lot longer and then I'm gonna go into the palette the KKW Beauty Smoky palette um, volume 1 and it's so stunning you guys I can definitely see myself creating so many neutral smoky eyes and we're gonna go in with that pink shade first and we're gonna go ahead and use a Morphe M433 brush we're gonna place the color right in the crease first and then we're gonna start to just blend it back and forth windshield wiper motions on the eye and I'm actually gonna take it all the way to all over my eyelid um, and then we're gonna build up the intensity a little bit more um, so you can definitely add as much um, pigmentation as you want on the eye you can do more subtle or you can actually do more um, add more product just like I am in today's video and it's Coco again. She wanted to stop by and say hi. She was like scratching my feet for me to pick her up. Uh, and she's just going to chill with me on my lap for a few minutes. So I'm um, so building up that intensity, you guys. So, so far, the color is super pretty. I do feel like you do have to add more product to get um, to be like more intense, which is totally OK. Because I mean, I guess with smoky eyes, you definitely want this sh um, shade to be like the most minimal shade on the eyelid and then the rest be really dark and smoky um so but it is really really pretty um and it blends really well on the eye To start smoking out my top lash line, I'm going to go into my Morphe M514 brush and picking up the brown shade in the palette and I'm going to go ahead and start to darken up my lid. So basically here you guys what I'm doing is I'm adding that brown color and I'm packing on as much as I want the intensity to be and then I go back into the pink color and blend out the edges and the crease um, and you keep doing that until you are completely satisfied with what, with what you have going on. So, so far you guys on the eyeshadows, I'm noticing that you really do have to work and build up the intensity um, or the pigmentation on these eyeshadows. Um, it definitely feels a little bit different than the Mario one that she collaborated with. Um, so this one for sure does provide a little bit of pigmentation. So you definitely have to work with this palette. Um, I feel like it really gives the eye a really pretty look, but I have noticed when filming this video, um, that you do have to build up the colors on your eyes um, and keep going back and forth. So just I thought I just wanted to throw that out there that way you guys know that um, and say that I never said anything, you know, so just an FYI. 
Now it's time to add some smokiness. I'm gonna go into the Glam Bible Eyeliner and it's only $10, you guys, on their website on KKW Beauty. Um, and I really like this eyeliner, you guys, for a few things and then there's something about it that I don't like. The positives is that I really like how it's really dark and as soon as you add it to your skin, it glides on so creamy and it does last um, a pretty long time. So, um, because I did wear this eyeshadow look out for that night um, and I did notice that once you apply it into the waterline and then you set it with eyeshadow, I did notice that if your eyes water a lot, my right eye was watering so much and I hate when it does that. It just always does that sometimes here and there. Um, like this video if that ever happens to you. Um, but I do want to point out that it does smudge and it does um, separate. So just an FYI on that. Um, but I did notice that once I set it with this black eyeshadow in the palette, the bottom section of my eye and my left eye was perfectly fine. So just wanted to throw that out there. If you do have watery eyes, um, this might not be the best liner for you. To blend out the eyeshadow with the liner, I'm using the Morphe S28. Now this liner, you guys, definitely dries really fast. I did um, notice that while filming the video, so make sure that you do one eye at a time because I'm struggling a little bit to blend it out, but it all works out at the end. You just have to work twice as hard, but just wanted to let you guys know. Going back in with that same Morphe brush, I'm going into the brown and the black and start to smoke it out a little bit more towards the bottom lash line. Going back into that Morphe M514 brush and taking the brown and the black and just smudging out the liner so that way it doesn't look super harsh. Go ahead and curl my lashes, you guys, and then apply the Glam Bible Mascara in Black is Black. The pros about the mascara is that it's black. It lasts all day. It does not transfer to your skin, which is a huge plus for me. The cons is that it's not waterproof. It does clump up your lashes if you add too much product. And it does separate your lashes, but rather it being fluffy, like my Wonder Beauty Mascara does for me, it leaves my, my lashes looking super fluffy. So just wanted to throw that out there. And then I'm going to go into the bone color in the palette and highlight my brow bone. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the skin, you guys. I'm going to go into my NARS. And this is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I absolutely love it. I need to go get a new one. I'm in the shade L4. And then I'm going to go into the Beauty Sponge, which runs for $10. Um, now when you do run this under the water, you guys, it doesn't get as fluffy as the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge does. Um, it gets kind of to like a medium like squishiness um but it did perform really well so i can definitely save myself using this beauty blender again or beauty sponge uh, for a makeup application i really like the way that it added my foundation it really bounced on my skin very well i um, mean it's also perfect for blending out the concealer under your eyes and because of the shape that the sponge is and then you can also bake and brighten with the sponge too so i actually really enjoyed the sponge a lot and i like how it's like pointy from the top but then it's slant it's kind of slanted um so you can really use the flat surface to go underneath the eyes so i actually really enjoyed it For lips, I went into my CoverGirl lip liner in the shade 205 Caramel Nude. And then you guys, for lipstick, I'm going into Hank and Henry's Matte Lego Lipstick, shade 1985. Let me tell you guys, this lipstick is the perfect nude lipstick. So I wore this all night. It stayed on all night. So it's long wearing, transfer resistant for sure. And it's not tacky. So that's super, super, super good. And it's really creamy. So you can really move the product around and fix it. And then you can go back in with your lip liner and then um, darken it up a little bit more towards the outer corners to give it that pouty effect. And it's a full coverage um, lipstick too. And I can't wait to order some more. I am obsessed. And it's also vegan and cruelty free you guys are wondering now i'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara to my bottom lashes you guys and and i only used one coat so they do get really really dark all right guys and that is it for today's tutorial using some of the glam bible collection from kkw beauty so i absolutely love the sponge i'll definitely use it again the liner too and the mascara only when you use a little bit of product but i definitely enjoy that it didn't transfer on me but if you do have watery eyes stay away from it the palette i actually enjoyed it too because i'm digging the smoky eye that i created with the palette but i can definitely create the same look using a different palette so i guess it's up to you guys if you guys want to purchase the palette um, but i definitely enjoyed more 
for the sponge, the liner, and the mascara. So I'll see you guys all in my next video. Los quiero mucho. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.